the past 20 years, the government of South Africa has taken several approaches to strengthening emerging farming communities. However, there have been few success stories. The problems are deep-seated. Corruption, misguided agricultural and cooperative development policies, and a high unemployment rate is leaving most youth convinced there is no hope for a better future. Gen X, with support from the U.S. Agency for International Development, is pioneering a unique approach to strengthening livestock cooperatives that since 2010 has brought sustainable economic and business gains to the country. As a U.S.-based cattle genetics cooperative with nearly a century of experience working with American farmers, GenX has been partnering with South African cooperatives to expand their sales, member farmers' income, and member-focused services. Now we started on 2010 with the partners of Amadelo. Now Amadelo coming to us with the cows and the implements of the farm and the skills. The farmers, they are coming with the land and infrastructure. We starting so that we are partners, 50-50 shares. So we starting with Amadelo. Amadelo coming with animals of 1,800 cows who are in milking each day. Now it's very good to work with Amadelo because the time they come to us is so difficult to us. There's nothing what they are doing because we don't know exactly what, what is going to run the business. Now as the farmers now we know how to run the business because of Amadelo. Amadelo help us to give us a knowledge about the farming. From the milk side, as the farmers, we try to involve our, our children here. We try to send our children to the school to come back as the managers, not here in Dukaiskama, all over South Africa. Hi, this is the AI team. We're from Ikepo Secondary Cooperative. Now, what we've decided to do is provide a service to, the, to our people to improve their genetics. So that's the whole plan. It will be in our advantage to use AI because then we can increase our numbers and improving our quality as well. From the feedlot, they go straight to the market. So at least what we get from the good quality that we get from here will go straight to our feedlot. The very much important thing in doing AI is that uh, the cost of a bull versus AI uh, cements is much less because the bulls are very expensive. Also, uh, when you use the AI, uh, there are some uh, diseases. You can control the diseases by using AI. So it's very much important to us, to the, 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 the imaging farmers. Our first season, our average consumption rate was about 65 percent and then last year the last season we had about just below 65 percent about 60 percent due to the condition which is what resulted into the management program so that farmers know what to do and when so that by the time we have to ai the animals are fed properly and they are in good condition through the lack of infrastructure in all of these farms We've got a problem of bull separation from the cows. In some farms, we go and the farmer says the bull was running throughout the year, running with the cows. We've got that challenge. So we need to test them before we AI and tell the farmer, can you separate these cows for the AI? So that's the other challenges that we're facing on this program. Because for those who have fencing, they need to be able to manage their felt because it's not all about buying feed. You have to be able to manage your felt properly.
Sibale le fama yetu 2001. Singa malungu I-60. Kasa sibalisa. Kodwa ukulmende wa yege. Wa sa, kwa puma malungu I-40. Sa kala sa kubege. Kasi fige singe nando. Apa e fama. Siye sa maneke. Sa fumani funding. Zate. Sa zo fumana ke. No surutek. Sa fumana ke ngoku u CRI. Apo ke yena u CRI. Aye wa si trainer. Ika kuluka kakulu, uye wasi, wasi traina kakulu, kuindwe zinjenge deri, ukubanga ba i cooperative, ni pata ganjani, ni kala njani, funege ni benga bandu wa banjani, kani peti kota i cooperative. Sacho saz gengo kukuti, kufanele senze ni kasinga ma cooperative. Sacho sa kondu kuti, si kile kwi business, kasi i cooperative noba, fanele ba senze ganjani. Usinge teka kuluke kwi training. Kwa basinenda wese saya kuzo. Estrain, estrain, asibona. Na kuinda wakusekenzo wakuzo kuti kusekenzo wakansa. Kanja na hapo siye sabonu kuti. Indo efige ya lunge doka kulukuti. Isikapele kube mkuti. Na hati masi ipate kanja ni AAT business. Kusifumene unge doka kuluke hapa kusi RI. Si ngoma mabama fama. U agriculture wabane nokuthi maka sincedise asikhuthaze ekusebenzeni ukuze ke ngoko asinike i awards uyeke ajonga ukuthi nisebenza kanjani uba niyalima uqala nisafaka izithole anijonge nilima zikhule nithengise ukuze amane nifote nifota kuye kuphuma losuku ke lokuthi nibe ngomama abayake kwezo awards athi ke Kwi mali aninike yona. Kwi akomeke kukuti nina. Nine zitingo e zinjani. Oka nye ningone lute ngikusha. Njenga tapete ndan. Sati sa ufumana imali. Si uinile. Sayo ute ngikusha e moltino. Sa ufumana ikusha. E zi 16. Zi mitizo onge. Ya i 45,000. E sa si uinile. Saze sa tengezo kusha. Zizo ke ezi. Iku shesi seben zisa zona. Himale sa si ifumene. Kwi female awards. started to form my email cooperative 2003. We have two sectors of this cooperative, dairy and vineyard. So we have a partner now for dairy with Amazelo. We have a partner for winery, farm vision. So we have a 45%, 55% is shares for farm vision in this vineyard. And also the dairy farm is 50-50 shares. This is a 66 points rotary system, which is replacing a 20 swing over that we were having down there. Now this dairy was, they started building it in 2016 and then finished it in 2017. We are milking here now about more than at least 1,100 cows that are milked on a daily basis. Now currently we're producing about 18,000 liters of milk in this dairy. And then in the other one there is still a small one, it's still growing. And then that one also in Denegher is producing about 4,500 liters of milk. Currently there we are milking about 266 cows with a maximum of 500 cows. It's 152 hectares. It cannot take more than 500 cows. The project starts in May 19, 2002. When we start here off with a total of 1,000 cows, in a share milking operation where the commercial farmer is giving the animals and the management and some of the implements and the fixed assets as the dairy and the land is, is given by the Wetlevo's Development Trust. 
GenX provides training and technical assistance on a variety of topics including cooperative governance, the cooperative business model, animal husbandry, strategic planning, access to credit and market engagement. Your trainings uh, help us a lot because we, we black people did not know how the business ran. Yeah. And you have put us on the way to run the business. Thanks to CRI's help, we are now qualified AI technicians. We had an information day where we showcased the results and farmers were very interested from that point on. Because we even had some, some Nguni, even the jacket speakers, the, the progeny there was very impressive. Due to cooperative success, dividends have been paid, contributing to the economic well-being of the entire community. Our community is actually benefiting immensely from the dividends that are getting generated from the dairy, especially because people are getting paid towards the end of the year, preparing for the Christmas season. So that dividend obviously is helping immensely to the community around here. And also some part or portion of the dividend is being split so that it can be paid in March the following year, which will also form part and parcel of the school fees when schools are, are opening for the next following year. The future looks different for each cooperative but they all share one common theme, hope. As long as they get the knowledge, they will know how to run a business like a farm or a dairy industry. Going forward, we've decided to include a management program that will make sure that the farmer's stock is always in condition so that the AI can work properly because the cattle need to be managed properly and be in very good condition. The nutrition is more important on, on cows because we can't, we can't AI cows with a low condition. Mm. After this pregnancy test training, we will need uh, some other things like how to mix feed for the cows at any other season. So that will help us a lot. Uh, we can get the assistance of funding from the various even if in government or even in private sector, to give us the funding so that we can able to build up our own cellar and have our own winery in here. That will also add value to our beneficiaries. Add value in the sense that it will create job opportunities for our locals. Number two, it will also develop skills. Because making wine is a rare scarce skills. It's not very common, especially to us as black people to have a black-owned community. Why? It is the pride of our province. It's the pride of the Eastern Cape. We're busy renovating one of the offices and the areas here where our off sales will take place, where we can able to sell this wine to the people who come and buy and take it. Even we see this vineyard as also as part and parcel of the tourist attraction. We started with five hectares, that was 2012. And we are intending to expand that. We are looking at the, at the most 100 hectares in these scrapes. In the future, that we see a agricultural school around here, because we, we, we definitely see that this area is mainly for agricultural purposes. If all goes as we plan, we see ourselves as particularly both community now or beneficiary handling this dairy alone without a second person or a partner. We're really concerned about the skills transfer, the skills development. That is what the government is after. That at the end of the day, 
the South African government under the ANC is that their vision is to see the black, the black people owning this, com this community development projects and running them on their own in the near future. We want to take this thing moving forward and so that it's going to benefit generations and generations to come. We say thank you very much.